Today we're seeing Bantier in a final for the first time in 32 years. They haven't contested one since they won in 1957. of the 1957 Bantier team. There are a number of members of that team down in front of us here, including Oliver Barry, who has come from Dublin specially for the game, and the O'Sullivan brothers, John, Joe and Tony, and a number of others. I haven't seen them all, but there are a number of them there, recalling memories, no doubt, of the great days of the 50s when Bantier were freely winning hurling titles. tested four finals since their last victory in 1978 and they've been unsuccessful in all four. Well, the chairman of the Duhalla board, Jerry Keating, who has been closely associated with the rise of this Pantier team, is not with us today due to illness, but quite certain his thoughts are with us as ours are with him. And the throw in by John Barrett of Fremont. Up there in the centre, Wayne King, over to Dan O'Sullivan. Dan O'Sullivan gets Liz Meyer into the attack. And that's Pat Field. Pat has come on the team, on the Kilbrin team this year after a lapse of four years. He retired four years ago came back and has been making quite an impression at right half forward. Watch for those quick runs and those efforts at points. And here's another man to watch today, Dan O'Sullivan. <coughs> Dan has been the chief score getter for Kilbrin in most of their games, striking freeze very accurately and he strikes this one over the bar to give Kilbrin a lead within a minute of the start. Dan, 33 years old, captain of the team, and as I said, captain also when they won their last championship in 1978. The puck out from Paul Murphy into the centre of the field, and that's Dan O'Sullivan who has it. And now it goes up to Jim O'Reilly. Jim O'Reilly, the midfielder, Jim sends it in towards the square. Pat Field jumps for it. Pat has it in his hand. He goes down and he rises again, <laughs> and he tries to get in a stroke, but it's a free out. It's a free out to Bantier, and the Bantier goalkeeper, Paul Murphy, who has been starring in all their games today and hoping, no doubt, of a good game today. Paul taking this puck, he takes it into the wind, and it drops into the centre of the field. Timmy Sheehan is going for it. Timmy catches it well in the air, then gets on a run and sends it up the field. Bantier's first attack. Now Bill Cashman for Kilbrain, and this is John Sheehan. John Sheehan, John going away in a run. John has often played a centre half forward in, in the corner today, and he sends it over to John O'Donoghue, but the ball was a bit high, and anyway, it was a free from where the ball landed. John Sheehan was upended there just after getting in the pass, and so it's a free from where the ball landed, and Dan O'Sullivan right in front of the goals, about 30 yards out, hoping no doubt to make it two points for Kilbrin, and Dan strikes it, and this time it's over the bar again. Another point for Kilbrin, so with two minutes gone, it's Kilbrin leading two points to nil. 
Kilbrain playing with the wind in the first half. Ball out into the centre of the field. Make out Donahoe cleared that one up. And there's John Singleton for Bantier. And John sends it up the field. Bantier into the attack. This is Donald Sheehan. And that was Father Tim Hazelwood for a moment coming in there. But the ball went out over the line. And this is John O'Mahony. Mark's man for Bantier. Usual free taker in the half forward line. A jump there by Pat O'Reilly. But... This is John Howard going through with the ball. John, John's puck lands down to Jesse O'Callaghan and the umpire has the signal up for a 65. And up goes Michal Doyle, Michal, a young player at the start of, no doubt, a great career, a great striker of a long ball. The distance should be no difficulty to him if he can get the accuracy. He has the wind against him, but he strikes it, and he strikes it high, and it's going to the side, and it's just, it's just gone wide. Donica Foley tried to keep the ball in, but just barely out over the line, and here we have the Kilbrain goalie, Jerry Jer Ahern, very experienced, played in his playing in his fifth final today. Jar actually, Jar actually the son, Brian, playing in the corner forward position and will no doubt be keeping a fatherly eye on his progress as the game goes on. Ball out over the line, a sideline ball for Kilbrain. And this is John Joe O'Donoghue, or this is Michael O'Donoghue, rather, to take the sideline, and John Barrett is signalling the players to get back there from the ball. Make out who takes it, it goes in. <coughs> Pat Field tried to get to it. Uh, Michael Casey, but it's Timmy Sheehan who clears it out the field. Dropping out there to Jesse O'Callaghan. Jesse makes his way, gets it back to Donald Sheehan. Former Cork under 21 player. Blocked down there by Willem Sweeney for Bant here. Willem gets it up to uh, Wayne King, Wayne King gets it down to Timmy O'Donoghue. Timmy sends it up into the far corner, aiming no doubt for Tim Hazelwood, and Tim goes up and lifts the ball. He's being faced by Jesse O'Callaghan. He comes into a better position, and he shoots, and the ball goes wide. Well, there wasn't much in it. It wasn't very much outside the post, but wide nevertheless, and so the score remains. After five minutes in the first half of this Duhalla final, Two points for Kilbrain as yet, no score for Bantier. And the puck out by Jordan Hearn with the breeze behind him. The puck landing well down into the 40 yards line. Out comes Willem Sweeney for Bantier. <coughs> Wayne King for Bantier with Bill Cashman. Now Jim O'Reilly. Up to John Sheehan. And John Sheehan sends in a high one and it goes wide. Well, we know to change from the published light out of the band here on the Kilbrin team. Pat Field is playing at right corner forward and John Sheehan out of the half line. And Michal Doyle, band here, half back down injured there for a moment and that must have caused a missed heartbeat to band here supporters, but Michal is all right. Uh, he's coming out to the sideline for treatment. Bantier trainer Richard Murphy and co-selectors there with him. And now this is Dan O'Sullivan. Dan O'Sullivan, the Kilbrin captain, and Dan, I think, may have been a judge to have held the ball too long. At any rate, it's a free to Bantier. <coughs> and this is Michael John O'Keefe, who plays football with Drum Tariff. Michael John takes a high one, dropping about 40 yards out. And Donald Sheehan comes away with it, and Donald sends it up the field. And this is John O'Donoghue going for it for Kilbrain. John sends it in to the full forward line. Stephen Riley gets it down to Pat Field, and Pat takes a shot. 
and it goes in and Paul Murphy saves it but deflects it over the line for a 65. A 65 for Kilbrin and the breeze. If anything has been freshening in Kilbrin's favour. Glorious sunshine here in Bant here as I said and a fine crowd and this is this is Don O'Shehan. <coughs> who takes it over the bar and things are going well for Kilbrin so far. That's their third point. Seven minutes gone in the first half. <coughs> Paul Murphy's puck out. Dropping right into the centre of the field. Stephen Riley, or Jim Riley was there, Bill Cashman, Noel Carney there tussling with, uh, with Stephen O'Reilly and the ball comes out and Timmy Sheehan pulled on there and this is Timmy Sheehan on the run. <coughs> Timmy Sheehan on the run and he pass, hand passes it up to uh, Timmy O'Donoghue and Timmy's puck is half blocked down but it's got there by John O'Mahony and John sends a high one in towards the square. Tim Hazelwood is there, John Howard is there, and uh, it's Tim Hazelwood who gets it in, and there was a pull there in the square. Donica Foley tried to get it to the net, but the ball was saved. The ball was saved, and Jerry Hearn, the Kilbrin goalie, got a bit of a knock, but eventually the ball went out over the line and wide, and Kilbrin will be glad that they survived that one because it looked dangerous for a moment there in the square as Tim Hazelwood first did a go and then Dunica Foley came in but Jerry Hearn was right in front of him. George saved the ball but picked up a knock. <laughs> Ten minutes gone and Play held up at the moment while Jerry Herden is getting attention in there. But he's okay and Jesse O'Callaghan takes the puck out and Jesse takes a very long one. Goes down into 30 yards from the, the goal and this is John Sheehan and John shoots the ball over the bar. Well... <coughs> That was certainly a great economy of effort. The puck out from Jesse O'Callaghan, which dropped down well into the band here, half of the field, and John Sheehan dropped it over the bar. And now it's a sideline puck on the far side. That's Dan O'Sullivan over there to take it. Four points for Kilbrin. No score yet for band here. Dan drops it into the square. Michael Casey whips in it, gets it out, and Brian Ahern drops it in, and Paul Murphy snapped it in one hand, then turned around and hit it left-handed out over the line. Well, that looked dangerous for a moment, but Paul knew what he was doing. He wanted to get in a left-handed stroke and get it down to this side of the field, and he got it down maybe a bit farther than he expected and out over the line for a sideline puck for Kilbrin. And this is John Sheehan who answers to the popular name of Neighbour at times, taking the puck and it goes right up across the goal. Brian Ahern gets it back. Pat Field has it in his hand and Pat turns and strikes left-handed and the ball goes wide. <coughs> Four points to one in favour of Kilbrain. With, of course, the fresh breeze behind them, and that's noticeable in the puck outs because this barely lands at centre field. John Sheehan pulls in it. Now that's Joe Callahan for Bant here, and this is John Singleton getting away with the ball, kicking it in front of him up near the sideline. John picks it again and gets away, and then saw Kilbrin player coming in and with a judge to charge with the ball. That was Bill Cashman coming in and John charged with the ball and that gives a free to Kilbrin and it's going to be taken by Donald Sheehan. 
And Donald drops it down and the referee has blown the whistle because Pat Field has pick up a, picked up an injury down there and is being attended to by the Kilbrin selectors and their coach, Johnny Keane, John McAuliffe is in there, and Liam Buckley, and coming out now, Pat's picked up a, an injury on the hip as far as we can see, but he's okay, and the ball goes back, and Donald Sheehan drops it in, and Donald drops it over the bar, Donald drops it over the bar, and that leaves it five points to nil. And while it's one of those days when things seem to be going very well for Kilbrin, those long distance shots are all finding the target. And that, of course, having a, an effect on the scoreboard and leaving them five points in front. Bill Cashman up there. Ball out over the line. Bill Cashman with John O'Mahony, and now it's a line ball to Kilbrin. And this time it's Bill Cashman, who is up there carefully placing the ball. <coughs> Bell sends it across. That's Willem Sweeney on the ball for Bantier. And it's cleared out by Timmy Sheehan. Donald Sheehan now for Kilbrin. Timmy Sheehan breaks through there. Timmy has the ball and is tackled from two sides and so wins a free for Bantier. And this is Willem Sweeney <laughs> up there for Bantier now. Willem playing right half back and sends it down. It's a shortish one and it goes over to Jim O'Reilly and Jim sends it back and Willem Sweeney gets it again and Dan Sullivan comes in but Willem Sweeney gets the ball up. Now it's Donald Sheehan playing far up for his from his own position. Oh, sends it down towards Pat Field. <coughs> Michael Casey and Michael robs Pat Field and is then charged. And is then charged and hit on the ground by John Sheehan. <coughs> While the referee taking the name of John Sheehan there and Michael Casey being attended to now by the band here, trainer Richard Murphy. John Shane will be arguing that he didn't try to strike the first blow, that he was provoked, but at any rate, he's picked up a warning. <coughs> Michael Casey now, my hall die. That was Wayne King on the ball, but the ball was just gone out over the line. And it's a line ball to Kilbrin now to be taken by Seamus Butler. Seamus takes it up into the centre. That's Michal Doyle breaking away with the ball, lifting it, getting it up the field. It's blocked down there by Bill Cashman. Bill being challenged by John O'Mahony. Now the ball comes back to Jim O'Reilly. Jim gets it back, tries to get it to Seamus Butler. Out comes John Sheehan. Wayne King is there for Bantier. Wayne, one-handed stroke, but John Sheehan managed to get it into his hand. Now trying to get out of the... <coughs> out of a tight situation there, and it's a free to Kilbrin. And Donald Sheehan to take it, and this is with range. Donald has the win behind him, he tries to drop it in low, and it goes into the square there, and Willem Casey, or Michael Casey gets it. Now out to John O'Donoghue. That's Stephen Riley, the full forward in there. And that's Noel Carney clearing it out, but it goes to Brian O'Hearn, and Brian O'Hearn drops it over the bar. Well, a bit unfortunate for Bant here, there is 
Noel Carney's clearance was picked up by Brian Ahern and Brian lost no time in dropping it over the bar and Kilbrin with 17 minutes gone in the first half, Kilbrin six points and Bantier have so far failed to score. Paul Murphy's puck out. Seamus Butler up there. Timmy Donahue up there. John Sheehan over to Dan, she Dan O'Sullivan and Dan takes a shot in towards the square. It's dropping in. But Paul Murphy had his eye on it all the way and knew that it was just going wide of the post. So he just stood there and left it go over the line. As Noel Carney and Stephen O'Reilly tried to get to it and didn't succeed. Ball comes out now and it's Seamus Butler for Kilbrin, but it's blocked out there by Timmy Sheehan and John Sheehan drops it over the bar. Well, John Sheehan making a considerable impact in the game at right half forward for Kilbrin, 18 minutes gone. <coughs> and now Kilbrin are seven points and Bantier would want to be doing something. Admittedly, they're playing against the wind, but they haven't been playing anything like they were playing in the preceding rounds. John O'Donoghue for Kilbrin and John drops this one wide. Well, it's been mostly, it's been mostly Kilbrin so far. They've done most of the attacking. And here have only managed to get the ball up the field a few times. This time, Mihal Dial, who was fouled there by John Sheehan, gets the ball, he drops it up the wing, catches it, it drops down. Wayne King runs across it, and now it's Jim O'Reilly who sends Kilbrin back into the attack. Pat Field has tried to get under it and snap there. And now it's John O'Donoghue who takes a shot and sends the ball wide. Well, the wind is having an effect because those puck outs from the Bantier goal dropping short while any puck coming from the Kilbrin side getting great distance into it. And if Bantier got the ball up the field, well, we'd see what their forwards could do, but they're seeing very little of the ball. Now it's Kilbrin back into the attack. Brian Hearn's ball shot half blocked down there. John O'Mahony back there now roaming back into a, into a fence. This is Jim O'Reilly for Kilbrin up there on the far side. Jim gets it down. And that's John O'Donoghue swiping on it, but it's cleared out for John, by John O'Mahony, Michael John O'Keefe. Michael John O'Keefe with Mike, Mick O'Donoghue and Michael John. On, <laughs> Both of them get to the ground. Michael John retrieves possession again and then breaks clear and gets a free. <clears throat> and now it's Michal Dial. The The ball being brought forward now, and Mihal Dial, no doubt hoping to drop this in around the square. If he doesn't go for a point, he's a bit far out with the wind against him, but he's got, he sends it a low, lowish one, but it's grabbed there by Timmy O'Donoghue, and Timmy O'Donoghue is trying to break through. He's challenged by Jim O'Reilly and fouled, and so it's a free in to Bantier. The first close in free they've got, and John O'Mahony, who has been pointing most frees from these kind of distances in the qualifying rounds, John O'Mahony drops it over the bar. <coughs> and that's Bant here, first score after 20 minutes. And so the score now, seven points for Kilbrin. Seven points for Kilbrin, one point for Bant here. And the puck out by Jesse O'Callaghan. A great puck out by Jesse. Jesse is noted for his long pucks. And this comes down to Pat Field, and Pat Field drops the ball just wide of the poles. <coughs> well, I mentioned earlier that there were some members of the 1957 band here, team down here, and one player I didn't mention because I didn't see him at the time was Joe O'Flynn, one of the great, greatest players band here has ever produced Joe Flynn here at the final today one of the great players of the 50s but now we're back to the 80s 1989 and it's Seamus Butler 
at round the midfield, but his puck is blocked down, and that's Wayne King for Bantier. <coughs> Donica Foley pulls on it on the ground, but that's Donald Sheehan who gets a long one up into the square there. Stephen Riley pulled in, it's blocked down by Michael Casey now. That is John Singleton trying to get through, and John clears it out over the line. Band here backs being put under considerable pressure by those Kilbrin forwards whenever they get the ball and finding it hard to get those wrong raking clearances that defenders need to get out of trouble. The ball goes in from, and now it's wide. Went in from, it went in from John O'Donoghue and wide. And so another puck out from Paul Murphy and midfield players proving important because these balls coming out from the puck out are landing around midfield and this is that was Stephen or that was Jim O'Reilly who got it in now it's Dan O'Sullivan racing up for it but that's John O'Mahony for Bantier and the ball went out a line ball for Kilbrin Bill Cashman places it for Dan O'Sullivan Taken out there by John O'Mahony and Dan O'Sullivan steadies himself now. Takes a look and then drives it. A good one dropping in towards the square. Goes right in there. Pat Field was there. Noel Carney was there. And this is John Singleton. Noel Carney was fouled. And so... Or Noel Carney, I should say. Fouled Stephen Riley, I think, in there. And Stephen now is getting a... A look at his leg, but he's okay, and Brian O'Hearn takes a swig from the bottle, and it's a free in, and Dan O'Sullivan comes in to take it. And if Dan is true to form, this should prove no problem, and it doesn't. And so it's eight points. <coughs> eight points for Kilbrin, one point for Bantier. <coughs> Well, Bantier supporters must be very disappointed with the team's display so far because they haven't been reproducing the form of the qualifying rounds at all. And that puck out from Paul Murphy went all the way out over the line. And this is Mick O'Donoghue of Kilbrin. Placing the ball for the line puck. 25 minutes gone as Mick takes the ball up. Pat Field is going for it. So was Joe O'Callaghan, and the ball eluded both of them as they went towards it and right out over the line. And Paul Murphy now taking the ball, the puck out again, driving it up there into the centre. That's Wayne King going for it up there, being followed by Jim O'Reilly, and the ball has gone out off Jim O'Reilly, and so it's a line ball. Far band here to be taken by John O'Mahony. Taken by John and it goes over. That's that's uh, Pat O'Reilly who got it out there and it's another line ball and John O'Mahony going farther up this time to have another go. Dropping it right in towards the square, and it's blocked out there by Jim Riley, and then Seamus Butler gets it out to this side. Michael John O'Keefe racing for it now, chased by Mick O'Donoghue. Michael John turns, sends it right-handed into the square, and it's saved by John Hearn. Pulled on by John Howard there, saved. It's another shot, this time by Donica Foley. Donica sends it up again, and it's taken by... Timmy O'Donoghue and Timmy sends it wide and Timmy wasn't too pleased with that. He thought it should have been a point, but the umpire had no doubt. He waved it wide and so it's the puck out from Jesse O'Callaghan and I see that Pat Fields has now come out to right half forward on the Kilbrin team. But John Sheehan, got in, having got in, Timmy Sheehan. Timmy Sheehan, the Bantier captain. But there was a chop there by Seamus Butler. Oh, 
And so it's a free two bands here. <clears throat> and Michael Doyle to take it, puck into the wind. Eight points to one, Bantier trailing by seven points. With three minutes to go to half time in this Duhalla final is, as um, Michael Dial took that puck, which was deflected out over the line and linesman Pat Roach throws it in. I'm it comes back to Brian Barrett. Brian Barrett, my hall dial. And it goes through Timmy Sheehan and the referee awards a free to band here. Michael Dial has another chance of setting up an attack for Bant here now. And Bant here would sorely need the boost of a score before half time. They will be looking forward to the wind, of course. This time Michael tries a long one. It's into the wind, it's dropping. <coughs> it's dropping there and it's cleared out slightly. Donald Sheehan has it. On, Jim. Donald Sheehan has it. It was Brian Barrett first. Michael John O'Keefe takes a shot and the shot goes wide. Well, there's been no great joy for Bant here in this final so far. But no doubt they'll be waiting now for the halftime whistle and hoping that with the wind behind them, they'll achieve a turnaround in the game in the second half because the wind definitely has been having an influence, certainly on the puck out. Now Michael Doyle beginning to play very well for Bant here. Michael snapped that one. But Donald Sheehan dominating there at centre half back for Kilbrain Donald sends it up the field. Now that's Willem Sweeney for Bant here. Willem sends it up to Michael Casey. Michael sends it out. This is Bill Cashman for Kilbrin. Seamus Butler was being challenged there by Timmy Sheehan and Seamus was fouled and so it's a free to Kilbrin from the middle of the field. And that's Donald Sheehan who's been coming out towards midfield to take the long distance freeze and Seamus or Donald drops a very high one and drops it over the bar, extending Kilbrin's lead to eight points. Now it's nine points to one in favour of Bant here. In favour of Kilbrin, I should have said. <coughs> Puck out once again by Paul Murphy dropping down there. That's Michal Dial. This is Timmy O'Donoghue. And Timmy just got his hand with the ball out over the line, a bit unfortunate. He tried to stay in, but the hand went just marginally over the line. And this is Mick O'Donoghue for Kilbrin. Ball goes off Wayne King. The referee blew the whistle and blows the whistle for half time, dead on the mark of half time, leaving the score. Nine points for Kilbrin, one point for Bantier. Well, a very disappointing first half for Bantier, as the scores indicate. A great first half for Kilbrin. They did most of the, the they did most of the attacking. Their freeze went right, and so they face into the second half and into the breeze with an eight-point margin. But as I said previously, the breeze is quite strong. It's particularly affecting the puck outs. The puck outs from the Kilbrin goal were dropping down within 30 yards of the Bantier goal and that was having an effect, whereas from the other side, Paul Murphy's puck outs were just barely dropping into midfield. Now in the second half, Bantier will no doubt be hoping that the wind will have a big effect and that they will set up a number of attacks, or several more attacks certainly than they did in the first half because the forwards didn't see a great deal of the ball during that first half.
A second half during which Bantir will no doubt be hoping to avail of the wind to make inroads into that, that lead, that Kilbrin lead, to bring it down because the wind out there is quite strong. Kilbrin had it behind them in the first half and they built up an eight point lead. A switch in the Kilbrin team I noticed, John Sheehan is out center field now, Seamus Butler has gone corner forward and the game is on. The second half in progress, that was Jim O'Reilly. That's John Sheehan. John sends Kilbrin into the attack. Up goes Michael Casey. Michael Casey clears it out to the far side of the field. <coughs> Mike O'Donoghue racing up there for it. John Michal Doyle close to the sideline. It's pulled on by Timmy Sheehan and out over the line. And it's a line ball for Kilbrin. That's John Sheehan up there. John started it right half forward, then moved in sometime before the finish of the first half into corner forward. Now he's back out at midfield and he's taking this sideline puck and he sends it down and it's blocked down there and the ball breaks down to this side of the field. Brian Ahern and Brian Ahern takes it and drops it over the bar. And that must surely be an encouragement to Kilbrin. <coughs> They've added to their lead against the wind. Ten points to one. They're nine points clear now. The ball breaking down. Now the, the wind had an effect on that puck out as a send band here into the attack. <coughs> and now it's a free for band here. For a foul up there and Michael John O'Keefe. John Mahoney, John O'Mahoney taking the free, hoping no doubt to knock a point off that lead and John drops the ball over the bar. And now cheers of encouragement from the band here, bench here, nearest and their supporters, hoping that that point by John O'Mahoney will start to rally. Just two and a half minutes gone in the second half. The score, 10 points to two in favor of Kilbrin. Puck out by Jesse O'Callaghan into the wind. Let's see what effect the wind has. And it drops just about where the ball was dropping from Paul Murphy's pucks in the first half. John Sheehan sends Bantier up. William Sweeney gets the ball down. Timmy Sheehan draws it to the ground but misses it. John O'Mahony now in a run. Bantier seems to get, be getting something going now. Don O'Shehan running up to tackle. But John O'Mahony drops the ball over the bar. And now the question we're asking, is this the start of a Bantier rally that could th make this Dohalla final an exciting game? The excitement hasn't been there far, so far because Kilbrin have been too far ahead. But now, the score 10 points to three, Jesse O'Callaghan's puck. Willem Sweeney, and Willem takes a shot of the ball, a swipe of the ball as it was hopping. Didn't meet it fairly and ball dropped out over the line and this is Bill Cashman. Bill Cashman drops the ball up, up goes John Singleton for it, drops it down over the line and it's a free, it's a sideline ball to Kilbrin to be taken by Dan O'Sullivan. A lovely cut by Dan O'Sullivan into the centre there and Michal Dial catches it, kicks it out Willem Sweeney sends it up the field. That's Jesse O'Callaghan coming to it for Kilbrin. Jesse up into the centre. Timmy Sheehan for Bantier. Timmy breaking away. John Sheehan running after him. Stephen O'Reilly on the other side. Or Jim O'Reilly, I should have said. But Timmy Sheehan drops the ball in and drops it wide of the post. Well, Bant here certainly showing up better than they did in the first half. Trying to get a rally going. They're still seven points behind, but that's not an insurmountable lead in hurling. But this is the Kilbrin centre half forward. John O'Donoghue sends it up. It's cleared out again there. 
That's Jim O'Reilly and the ball. Corals away out over the line. Sideline ball for Van Tier, taken by Willem Sweeney. Willem drops it up, but it's dropped down. Right, Jim, come on. That's it, Jim. Jim O'Reilly up to Brian Heron. Brian took the ball. Well. Out over the line and a sideline ball for Bant here. Brian Ahern trying to get away there. From Michael Casey, Tim Sheehan takes the ball. Bill Cashman, they'll surround her there, drops the ball. Oh, come on, lads, give me a hand. Timmy Sheehan now taking a good hand at midfield and Tim. Timmy drops it in, but it goes, it goes wide. Well, Bant here would be hoping to take all these long distance shots, but two of them have gone wide of the post. Six minutes gone in the second half. The score 10 points for Kilbrin, three for Bant here. Jesse O'Callaghan with the puck out, dropping into the midfield region. Up there went Pat Field. This is Timmy Sheehan again. Now it's Don O'Shehan. Now it's Timmy O'Donoghue, Timmy O'Donoghue for Bantier. But the ball was out over the line. <clears throat> In picking the ball, Timmy O'Donoghue just got marginally over the line and Pat Roach. The linesman was running down there and signaling a line ball to, a line ball to Kilbrin. And this is Mick O'Donoghue taking the line ball on the ground. It comes down there. That was Donald Sheehan. And it's a free to Kilbrin. Free to Kilbrin, Donald Sheehan. Driving it well up the field. That's Stephen Riley, and Stephen drops the ball over the bar. Well, Kilbrenner are sharper about taking those scores. That was full forward, Stephen O'Reilly, who came out very well to that ball, but it's down the field again now. Cleared by Donald Sheehan, Willem Sweeney. Willem gets it back up. Tim Hazelwood has it. Tim Hazelwood on a breakaway, sends it in towards the goal. But it's snapped there by Pat O'Reilly, left-handed, out into the centre of the field. Jim O'Reilly jumps for it, but it's Willem Sweeney who comes up for Bantier, who hand passes it down to John O'Mahony, and John takes his shot, and that's over the bar. <laughs> and that's the kind of economy that Kilbrin have been showing, and that bands here near more of if they are to bring down this lead and it was certainly shown there as the ball went down to John O'Mahony and John just took a very quick look and dropped it over the bar and so the lead now seven points for Kilbrin's favour, 11 points to four Jesse O'Callaghan with the puck out dropping well into the centre field Region, William Sweeney playing well for Bant here. Dan O'Sullivan there for Kilbrin. Dan just keeps inside the line, gets it up. And that's Michael Casey. Michael gets it one-handed out along there to towards Wayne King. But it's Brian Ahern who takes a shot. And he's hooped there by John Singleton. The ball comes back now to Jim O'Reilly. Jim O'Reilly to Dan O'Sullivan. And Dan takes a shot. And it drops over the bar. Well... <clears throat> I think the wind had a bit of an effect there because when it left Dan's Hurley, it seemed as if it might just miss the target and the wind brought it in and over the bar. And so Kilbrin have gone eight points ahead, 12 points to four. The puck out now, Michael John O'Keefe for Bant here. Michael John sends it down, sends it down the field, but referee John Barrett signals a free to, a free to Bant here. 
which Mihal Dial is up there to take. <clears throat> Mihal drops it in, but it goes wide. And pads here have been missing a few of those long distance chances. And they need to take every one of them if they're to get back meaningfully in this game because there's ten, there are 10 minutes gone in the second half and they're eight points behind. Puck out now into the center of the field. John Singleton was there for Bant here, but now it's Seamus Butler out there in the middle of the field for Kilbrin and being hooked up there by Timmy Sheehan. And the ball went out off Seamus Butler's hurley and Timmy Sheehan is up there to take it, but referee John Barrett has gone up to consult the linesman. And he's taking Timmy Sheehan's name. Referees have got very strict about shopping in later times. And players who wouldn't have been booked and formerly are now being booked for chopping. It's regarded as dangerous play. And the ball once again out over the line. And it's a line ball for it's a line ball for Bantier to be taken by Mihor Doyle. Mihal takes the shot. It's blocked down there by Donald Sheehan. This is John O'Mahony for Bantier. Ball breaks down now to Wayne King, but as Wayne was trying to pick it off the, the ground with his hurley, the referee blew for an infringement, and so it's a free to Bantier and John O'Mahony will have to decide whether to go for a point or to drop it in. And he goes for the point and it goes wide. Well, it's certainly not Bantier's day. They could be coming well back into it now if their striking was more accurate. But the accuracy which they showed in the preceding rounds of the championship seems to have deserted them to a considerable extent today. And they're missing the chances now that might bring them back meaningfully in the game because they're still eight points behind. Kilbrin 12, Bantier 4. 13 minutes gone in the second half. Jesse O'Callaghan's puck out into the middle of the field. That's John O'Donoghue for Kilbrin. That's Timmy Sheehan for Bantier. Timmy drops it up. That's Bill Cashman, or Pat Riley, I should say, coming to it. And foul there by John Howard. A chop there by John Howard, and so... It's a free two, Kilbrin, to be taken by Jesse O'Callaghan, <clears throat> one of the longest strikers in the game in Dohalla, but this is a, not a long one, this is a short one. John Sheehan jumps for it there, the ball breaks loose. That's Jim O'Reilly and Wayne King. Wayne taps it back, Jim O'Reilly taps it down to John Sheehan, and John is trying to get through, <coughs> and he gets the ball in, and this is Stephen O'Reilly, and Stephen drops it in but the ball goes wide. And the umpire over there claiming this is, it's a 65. <laughs> Some disagreement there from the Bantier players, but The ball comes back for a 65 to Kilbrin and Donald Sheehan. <coughs> Getting ready to take it and Donald strikes it into the wind and it goes wide. Well now Bant here have a quarter of an hour to rescue this to have a final. They're eight points behind the ball in the middle of the field. Michael John O'Keefe for Bantier. Michael John <coughs> takes a shot which is half blocked. John O'Mahony is being fouled there by Bill Cashman. And so it's a free to Bantier and John O'Mahony gets a short one up there to 
Michael John O'Keefe and Michael John takes a shot and it's blocked by Jura Heron. Well, that was a good shot and a great save by Jura Heron from Michael John O'Keefe. <coughs> a great save by Jura Heron there for Michael John O'Keefe who shot for the goal from John O'Mahony's pass and the ball comes down now from a sideline puck but Bill Cashman gets it for, for Kilbrin. Michael O'Donoghue gets it for Kilbrin out a bit and now it's Never. No. out into the centre to Willem Sweeney for Bantier and Willem takes a shot and it's going down and it goes wide. Well, the ball went wide there. Tim Hazelwood made an effort to get into it but Jesse O'Callaghan was blocking the way and Jesse now has the ball in his hand, ready to take the puck out once again for Banty, for Kilbrain. 15 minutes to go, eight points between the teams. Out into the centre, Timmy Sheehan gets it up there to John Singleton, the Banty centre out back. John sends it down the field. <coughs> John Howard was racing for it there, the ball out over the line, a line ball for Banty. Banty certainly doing more pressing than they were in the and they were in the first half but not getting any great result. Missing the chances from far out. This is John O'Mahony. And John sends the ball in low and another save by Jerry Herden from Tim Hazel. But this time, Donald Sheehan comes away with the ball. Hopping it in his hurley. Come on, Neville! Gets it Come up. Come on, Neville! That's your hurling, boy! Come on, Neville! Willem Sweeney, who has been playing very positively for Bantier all through, Willem came to that as John Shane's hurley got broken, broken in the clash. And Willem sent it down, but it's a line ball for Kilbrin. As Jesse O'Callaghan is coming out to take. 17 and a half minutes gone in the second half. The score, 12 points to four in favour of Kilbrin. The line ball being taken by Jesse O'Callaghan along the ground. Comes up there to Willem Sweeney again. Willems, the ball is knocked away by Jim O'Reilly. Now it goes up to pass Michael John O'Keefe to Mick O'Donoghue. Mick O'Donoghue has shot this one over on the ground to Pat Field. Pat Field being challenged. Pat Field getting away. Pat falls there and a free to Kilbrin. And Mick O'Donoghue handing the ball back to Donald Sheehan. <laughs> Donald Sheehan taking the free for Kilbrin. <clears throat> Donald drops it in and drops it wide. A let off for Bantier. And now they've only just less than 12 minutes to make an impression in this final. They certainly haven't played anything up to the standard that they achieved in the qualifying games or indeed in the Come on, league. Jim. Come on. Now Wayne King sends the ball in towards Tim Hazelwood. Now John Mahoney is making a run and John has the ball and he's being hampered there, being the ball out now to um, Bill Cashman, cleared it out there, but Donica Foley Gets it back to Timmy Sheehan, but in there's Donald Sheehan for Kilbrin. Kilbrin playing more confidently, the more positive hurdler. It goes up there now to Pat Field. Pat Field, as in on one of his characteristic runs, being chased by John Singleton, now being challenged by Wayne King, and Pat Field gets in the ball. Paul Murphy, the Bantier goalie, catches it, and for the second time, Paul turns right around to clear. And now Timmy Sheehan for Bantier, and Timmy drops a long one into the square. And Timmy Sheehan dropped a long one in. And just as it dropped, Tim Hazelwood tried to get to it, but the ball was travelling with too much speed, and it dropped out over the line. And if Tim Hazelwood got to that ball at such close range, well, one need hardly speculate as to what the result would have been. But the ball went wide, and now it's pucked out into the centre of the field. Nihal Doyle catches it. Michal Doyle sends it back down, it's back into the square, and it's over the bar. A point for Michal Doyle. <coughs> and let's see whether that proves 
Any inspiration to Bant here? Now it's 12 points to five. They're seven points behind. They've 10 minutes to go. And as the rain starts to come down, Jesse O'Callaghan hooks the ball out into the centre of the field. Jim O'Reilly jumps for it there. It's sent down. It's sent down to John O'Mahony by Tim Hazelwood, and John sends it back to Tim Hazelwood. But John Mick O'Donoghue comes down and Mick sends it down now. Now it comes up to Tim Hazelwood again, and he's got the ball and he's eluding Jesse O'Callaghan, and he pucks it, and it goes wide. Well. It's certainly not Spantier's day where scoring is concerned. Tim Hazelwood did very well to get through there and to shake off the tackles of the Kilbrin defenders, but then the puck didn't go right. It went left in the post and wide. And Bantier certainly can't afford to be missing those kind of chances on a day when very little has gone right for them, but something may Develop now because Timmy Sheehan is on the ball. As the rain comes pouring down, Timmy Sheehan has the ball. He gets it back and it's a free. It's a free, which will be taken by. Maybe to this side is coming from this side. Yeah. Sorry, we're trying to readjust ourselves to the rain there. As the puck went in. And once again, it's a wide. And my goodness, the rain is absolutely teeming down now in this Duhalla final. Everybody out there in the field getting drenched, including the referee, John Barrett. And the umbrellas go up. All over the field. And the unfortunates are those who didn't make provision for the changeable weather. The ball goes down now. Once again, it's Tim Hazelwood in possession, being challenged by Bill Cashman, and that's a clearance out to this side of the field. The ball coming very close to the line, and in fact going over it. Now it's in near the bench here, goal, and John O'Mahony has it, and it's a goal. Well, we can hardly see what's happening with the rain, but that was John O'Mahony. That was John O'Mahony who got a goal. And let's see now in the torrential rain whether Bantier, whether Bantier can stage a comeback. It's 12 points now to 1-5, only four points in it. Only four points in it with seven minutes to go. <coughs> The rain absolutely drenching the players out there. The ball will get heavy, but Michael Doyle takes a shot and it goes in and it's caught there by Jesse O'Callaghan. It's caught there by Jesse O'Callaghan, cleared out into the middle of the field. Got up there by Bill Cashman, John Singleton, the Vantier centre half back has it. John Singleton down again into the attack. Pat O'Reilly there for Kilbrent. Jesse O'Callaghan was also there and the ball goes out over the line and I'm not quite sure whether whether it's a puck out or a 65 it is a puck out Jesse O'Callaghan has the ball Jesse O'Callaghan has the ball and only four points between the teams and the band here supporters are now getting behind their team Jesse pucks the ball out it drops rather short. It's a heavy ball now, and the wind is against Kilbrin. And this is Timmy Sheehan, the band here captain, now trying to rally his men. John O'Mahony has moved down to this wing. John O'Mahony <coughs> gets the ball. It's a shortage one. It goes to Donald Sheehan, and Donald she clears it out into the centre of the field. Willem Sweeney jump for it. It goes up now to Timmy Sheehan. Timmy Sheehan hopping the ball in his hurley and dropping it in, but it's going to drop wide. Well, five minutes to go, four points between the teams. And this is the first time, this is the first time we're having real excitement in the game. Connor Buckley is going into the game for Bantier. We, we haven't seen yet who's coming off. 
Connor Buckley is in the game for Bant here. John Howard. Ball goes in. John, 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 John Howard is going off. Timmy Donahoe has the ball for Bant here. And Timmy Donahoe got the ball and was a judge to have overheld it as he went through. And so it's a free out to Kilbrin. Well, it looked as if Bantier had a chance there, but Timmy O'Donoghue was the judge to have overheld the ball as he went through, and so it's a free out to Kilbrain. Jesse O'Callaghan, the heavy ball is now telling. Jim O'Reilly gets it up. A free to Kilbrain. It looks to be, no, it's not John Shane. I was going to say it was John Shane who was down. It's midfielder Jim O'Reilly who was taking a knock and getting attention there, but the play has gone up to the far side of the field and wide. The player restarted there while we were looking at the player. Kilbrin player who was down and now a quick puck out by Paul Murphy and it's a long one with the heavy ball with the wind behind him it's a long one it's grabbed by Donald Shane it gets away from him now Michael John O'Keefe is running for it up there but Donald Shane is running for it as well and Donald Shane gets there first he's trying to pick the ball but they're now dealing with a wet ball and it's a line ball for Bantier <coughs> it's a line ball for Bantier three minutes to go Twelve points to one five, four points between the teams. Now it's on, Jim O'Reilly who blocked that ball. This is Pat Field coming to it. Michael Doyle comes. Michael robs him, but the ball goes down to John Shane, and John gets it back up the field. And now Brian Ahern has got clear, and Brian Ahern takes a shot, but it's saved by Paul Murphy. It was would have gone wide in any case, but Paul Murphy doesn't want to waste any time. Michael Casey comes. Might have sent it in the ground. It gets away from Tim Hazelwood. Willem Sweeney goes into it there. Jim Riley was there. Now it's John O'Mahony who has it for Bantier. And John O'Mahony, with all the intention of goaling, goes through. He's being challenged. And the ball is saved and comes down to this side of the field. And it's gone over the line. And Tim Hazelwood to take the line ball. Yeah, that's John Sheehan playing deep in defence now. John Sheehan being challenged by, oh, come by on, John. Wayne King. And then it's Timmy Sheehan who gets the ball across, but Bill Cashman snaps it come on, and Stephen. passes it. Come on, Stephen. And it's a line oh, ball. Come on, let's take it up for It's a line Take ball for Bantier. Went off Stephen Riley. Come on, here's up, lad. John Singleton to take the line puck. John sends it down, but saved there by Seamus Butler. Now it goes back to Connor Buckley. Connor Buckley sends it over to Daryl Dolan. Sheehan jumped for it. But Timmy Sheehan pulled on it, and now it's Mike O'Donoghue who has it. And now it's Donald Sheehan who comes in and passes it out to John Sheehan. Come on, come on, John Sheehan sends it across, but John Singleton snaps it well, and John Singleton sends Bantier into the attack. And it goes down now, Timmy Sheehan for Bantier. Timmy, very close to the line. There were two players there, and... Yes, it went off of Timmy Sheehan, I think. Referee Damien, or the linesman Damien Keane down there. Signalling a line ball for Kilbrain. And with time ticking away now, and the score, 12 points for Kilbrain, 1-5 for Bantier. It looks as if, barring a come last on, minute come on, no, for Bantier, that Kilbrain might be on their way to their second divisional title in their first since 1978. Once again, it's steady a line ball for Kilbrain. Steady up, John. Steady up, John. Steady up. John Sheehan placing the ball. 
And anything that takes up the time now is favouring Kilbrin because all they need is to play out time. Aye, the ball goes on. up to Willem Sweeney. Willem is, Huck is being blocked. It's Jim Riley who taps it across and to Stephen O'Reilly. And Stephen O'Reilly... Stephen O'Reilly is a judge to have overheld the ball and so it's a free to Van Tier. And now Van Tier will undoubtedly be hoping for a long puck a long puck, and it's Willem Sweeney is going to take it, and Willem, and the ball comes Come on, very Steven. badly for Willem, and it sends it up, and it's Stephen O'Reilly who gets it, and sends Kilbrin back into the attack, the ball Run dropping, it. and it's Dan O'Sullivan who has it, and Dan sends it in, and it's, it was going wide, but Paul Murphy came out, and the ball 